Hey peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name's Arietta and today I've got a time lapse or a couple of time lapses for you showing me testing out the Creatures of Darkness colouring pages and the colouring materials that come with the kit. If you haven't seen my unboxing of this kit yet, I will pop a link up in the eye for you so that you can go and check that out as well. Um, I have been super pleased with the um, Viviva paints. Um, they are so vibrant and pigmented. Um, really enjoyed working with them. A little bit of a learning curve, um, but ultimately really pleased with how they came out. Um, so there's my very first attempt. I'm particularly pleased with how the metallics came out on there and just the beautiful, vibrant colours. They're so, so pretty. Um, particularly, I, I loved working on this little spider here. Um, tried a few different techniques for the background here. Wasn't massively happy with any of them, but that is my problem. That is not a problem with the... Um, materials at all. Ultimately I did add a jelly roll white outline and I think that helped to make the dragons just pop a little bit more. Um, so yeah I really enjoyed this. It was super quick to get started with. Um, felt very intuitive however <laughs> incredibly messy. Um, partly I think maybe that's another learning curve for me. I need to figure out the best way to hold the palette so that I don't get ink all over my um, pigment all over my hands while I'm working. It did take quite a lot to wash off. And so I decided to do another picture. I really wanted to give the coloured pencils a chance to shine. Um, I know that they are an unbranded pencil, um, but I believe that they are of a similar quality to the sort of Spectrum Noir Prismacolor type um, pencils that you would get in a semi-professional kit. Um, they are, I found them to be quite creamy or waxy to go down and um, they do blend nicely um although i would say blend carefully because if you go too thick too quickly you that it's difficult to add another layer over the top but i was really pleased with how this came out um i very much enjoyed um creating this bringing this dragon to life um and all the broken shards of um, mannequins, people around them. So um, yeah, ultimately I was very pleased with how it came out. Just I need, I need to perfect the technique of layering the colors better, I think. So I hope you've enjoyed this little look at my first attempts with this kit. Um, as far as I know, the kit is still available at the time of recording and you can pop on over to Muse to get yourself your own set. There are three different options. You can get the kit that comes with everything, the kit that comes with just the physical items and the kit that just comes with the digital items. So do go and check that out. And a huge, huge thanks to Nerdy Crafter, Sarah Rose and to Muse Kits for making this possible in the first place. Big thanks as well to my generous patrons, John, Dylan, Maisie's Madhouse and Ducking Art, and in the inner circle, the wonderful Katerina Seplova. I could not do this without you. If you enjoy the content that I make and would like to see more, why not subscribe, become a member of the Crafty Coven. You can also come and hang out with us on Facebook in the Crafty Coven group over there. So I'm going to leave this here. Please check out one of my other videos. And until next time, stay crafty.